Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we are going over another real estate math practice question. Here's how it works. We cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. It's as simple as that. If you want to try real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for their real estate exam. So make sure to click that like button and subscribe. That way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, guys, let's just jump right into it. So we are covering interest rate problems this week, uh, pretty basic ones. And we've kind of just jumped it up a little bit in terms of difficulty, adding another step into the problem. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys have been paying attention. If not, you guys might get stumped here. All right, guys. So the question says, what is the annual interest rate on an $80,000 loan that requires a semi-annual interest payment of $1,000? And it gives us four options like usual. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause here, come with your answer and some time to just bust it out, come up with your correct answer. Hopefully it's correct, obviously. So go ahead and do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer on this one. Of course, hopefully you came up with the correct answer. So what is our correct answer? Well, it's going to be B. That's right, 2.5%. So this is very similar to the one we saw yesterday. It's same concept, just different numbers. So how did we do this problem for those of you guys who maybe are still struggling? Uh, so first things first, we have to look at this. What is it asking? Well, again, it's asking us our annual interest rate. Uh, keyword here, annual. Why is that important? Well, because it says here we have the semi-annual interest payment of $1,000, which if you guys have been paying attention, that means that we have to double it because remember semi-annual, semi oops, misspoke there. Semi-annual means twice or two, two times a year. So what we are going to do is take that $1,000 and we are just gonna simply double it. So we're gonna times that by two. Now, again, if this said quarter, uh, quarter interest payment, we would times that by four, um, you know, whatever else it might be, we're just going to adjust accordingly. So again, that's going to give us this $2,000. And then from there, all we have to do is take that $2,000 and divide it by $80,000. So it's as simple as that. Again, another one of these problems where the math itself isn't hard. It's just the steps uh, and figuring out what kind of order these things go in, that's the hard part. Um, and as I mentioned before, trying to figure out whether you multiply or divide and all that good stuff. That That's the tricky part with these problems. So again, we're taking this 2,000 divided by 80,000 and that's gonna give us zero, or I'm sorry, 0 0.025 or 2.5%, which is our answer. That is our annual interest rate on this $80,000 loan. So yeah, hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, please give us a thumbs up if you've been enjoying our content. Really helps with the channel. We've been growing pretty crazy lately uh, and it's been really amazing. And I really appreciate the time that you guys have been spending with me. Um, really, it makes this all so much more fun. So yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical. See you guys next time.